He's saying we love you, sis. He's saying that there's nothing to be nervous about. I mean, the only thing we're trying to do with Symphony Sister is to like reconstruct the um, nuclear family to its original origin. We're, we're not against men. We're not against women. We're against Marxism. We're against feminism. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're against men being um, sense, manginas. That's what we're against. We want men to be men and women to be women. That's what we're about. That's it. So I mean, it was never, um, it was never our intent to attack you or anything. We just appreciate people more when they want to speak. It's a lot more difficult because everyone's not reading the um, chat messages. So there's only a small perception of people that might be seeing that. But when you come in, you speak vocally, then everyone you're sharing your information with everyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Yes. Yeah, hold on a second, brother. Hold on a second. Let's just speak right now. Hold on a second. Um, so, um, yes, um, I do agree, you know, about, I'm just here to just get, like, um, a perspective of what, like, how men think and how they feel about towards women and how other men feel about other men being simps and all that other type of stuff. Yeah. So. I'm just really here just to get like a point of view on that and even the whole name thing um that's the name i chose to um pick because you know um i know there are so many like rules and information and stuff that that people um go across on the internet and you know i'm just a, a young black girl just trying to tap into like my higher femininity and i'm not here to control a man or make a man feel docile i'm here if i because i'm single so i wouldn't want to control a man to make him feel less than and do i feel like some men hold have femininity energy and some men are masculine in um certain type of ways because like we both um both do have those same energies hold on give me a second <laughs> Well, baby, let me just put it out. Just to, we, we're not against you. Talk freely with us. We want to hear you. She's still talking? Yeah, she's dealing, she's dealing with some kind of, uh, she's dealing with something right now, is what it seemed like. She said, oh, man, son. Yeah, I think she was dealing with a, um, a child, sounds like. Hey, go ahead, show that individual. First of all, peace and blessings. Second of all, when I made my first comment, the only thing I was doing was separating the conversation. I agreed with any and everything that y'all was saying to the young woman, but at the same time, I was speaking directly to her to let her know, look, just because this, this may be something. No, you're blanking out. Necessarily right? mean that that's the same type of energy coming at you in a room full of people who are trying to enlighten you. Yeah, and it, I was it, trying it, to get that point across. Hello? Uh, well, because I had started talking when you stopped, um, the make brother just fell out. Yeah, go ahead. Um, um, yes, thank, thank you so, so much for um, letting me back into the chat. And yeah, so yeah, I'm basically, I'm single, so I don't, I'm not really here to like have all tone type of control over a man. And I, I, that's just not me. Like, I'm gonna like um, explain more what I mean in the chat like my mom um she raised me and my twin and stuff like that and you know she was actually a housewife and my dad he went out he worked um he even like <laughs> listened to your show and stuff like that so that's why like i'm in the live because he put me on and stuff like that about who's history that? with me knowledge hold on who's your dad um you know he's just a regular subscriber you know i'm not oh, sure yeah, all right it's good tell, tell him we appreciate that so like yeah so i just wanted to like join in and i think i was having a little problem with the guy at the bottom calling me a witch and being mean and stuff like that which <sighs> yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So she, um um with that he's not really one of us he's just a typical listener um, we don't um really throw that around man until we've been confirmed but that didn't come from one of us so yeah so i just wanted to be like 
I'm not saying that at the end of the day, like I'm just a guest listening into your space. I'm not here to even come into your space and tell you guys how to think about a woman, how you want to treat a woman and stuff like that. So yeah, but like I'm not trying to go on a rant or whatnot. And some guys say like women is masculine okay. and they're, they're sexual beings and all that type of stuff. But like me being like a young man, me being a young woman here in like the 21st century is like that's all guys want and it's kind of like hard to be like not guys chase after women for what they have so sexually so it's just like you can't be nice and very good to all guys you can't be you like you you can't be nice and be considerate to all guys because there's guys out there that want to take advantage so, so, so where, where are you coming from with that Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we don't we don't push that um, be nice and friendly to all guys because um, essentially you put yourself as a victim. Right. You gotta try to be serious. You can't believe that smile. The same thing that we tell the women. I mean, the men don't be trying to smile. We tell the women, you can trust the guy with slick talking more and mm-hmm. smooth lips. Because you're not going to trap. Right. But the reason, let me say, the reason that I was on that name so much is because the word God is right. It essentially comes from the word God. Mm-hmm. And so that the word God <clears throat> essentially means door backwards. That's what God is means, right? <clears throat> and so when you look up that God is, the origin of that goes back to that deity, which was, they had a dog head, a half female body, and a different form of the body that they used to worship. Um, that That's what the whole goddess thing comes from. Okay. I, I you. So, but, but you know, not every, not every young person is gonna, gonna know that. That's like, that's the type of knowledge you're gonna have to seek right. in, you know, everyone has different ways how they interpret names and why they pick the names for themselves. Like I pick, I'm a goddess because I feel like I am my I am in my higher self, and if the creator is out there, then he made the creator into me. And then if I'm spirit or something, then that means it will make me divine as my own virtue as a woman. You kind of get me. So that's why I kind of like use that word to express because like like how you how you said the words and how you broke down the whole name and not the average person understand that. So it's just the word that that's painted for just everyday average person to really recognize what I'm trying to explain. So, well, you know why they don't understand it? It's called aphasia, because most <laughs> people have totally, literally, lost the ability to properly comprehend words. Mm. They always miss use words, and that's uh, that, that's done by design. This is a system that's actually indoctrinated people into thinking that way. But, um, utilize the misusage of words. It, it, it happens all the time on a daily basis. Okay. So, Salaki, so, so I'd like to uh, she just to say shalom to all the brothers on the panel and the sister that joined. I'm actually one of the moderators in the chat, and I asked you to join because. I knew that there would be something you wanted to express, and this is, I'm using your, your situation as an opportunity to open up a platform for other people. I used to be one of the listeners in the back, and I did that for a while before I decided, you know, I needed to go with the leading in the spirit to join PDOT and to come forward, come out of my place of, you know, just being in the background, so to speak, not one of the people to come forward. This is what the Most High wants us to do. He wants us to come forward together as a nation and be strengthened. And this is what PDOC is all about. Just to empower the the Most High's people. We don't use words like Lord. It's been covered in previous videos. We kind of want to go back and search and listen. You'll find out all of these wrong things and wrong usages of words like God and Goddess that have been put on our people. We're here to rise up and be more than what we once knew, what we were taught, the narrative that we were given to create who we are again under the most high and not under a man. 
So when you come on this platform, something drew you to this ministry because this is a ministry of proper understanding, comprehension, and acknowledgement of self. And the Most High is our leader. We don't go by the words as Jeremiah thought he could not serve the Most High because he had, you know, used cuss words. That's not what we're looking at. We're looking at the truth. And we want it direct from the source without without any kind of watered down words and politically correct and trying to appease men and cultivate men. The word of the Most High is to be honored. And we come here for right knowledge. So I just wanted to make sure it was understood um, and put out there that though this ministry is, is very dynamic, it caters to the commerce and it also deals with the spiritual, it's all intertwined. And there's made ignorance out there in our people. And this is for our people to wake up and know who we are so we can walk in our dominion. As men, we're here to lead. We're here to be the image of our creator and the representatives, the ambassadors, on, on the grounds that we work on, on the soil, in this country and, and abroad in the world. So we're not here to destroy women. We're not here to destroy people, but to break down that madness and get you into your sound, sober mind, the mind that the Most High created you to have, according to uh, the book of Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy 1, 7. So, that's all this is sister is not an attack listen in and if you feel that 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 conviction that drive to join and to become a part of the ministry don't fight it don't resist it for too long these days are changing the enemy is hard at work doing his thing let us be hard at our work doing what the most high has instructed in his word oh. Just fall under the leadership of the men, and you will be fine. You'll be guided. You will be given the blessing of protection, because this is to arm you. All right, arm you with the right knowledge. There's this thing here that's going to harm you, to where you have to like different voices, doctrines of demons and spirits out here in the world, trying to keep you suppressed, oppressed, repressed, and destroyed. So I just wanted to leave you with that, and I appreciate your uh, your, uh, your 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 confidence in coming on the platform uh-huh. and getting in in the discussion because we know it took you to gain some courage and, and bravery, even in your state of weakness. But you've done the right thing. So just keep in this direction, and if you want to join, it's a very simple process. All you have to do is just email the Kahan. Um, and let them know with your name and picture, Kazadak Shah Yahoo, and you can easily have a, a chance to be a part of the ministry um, should you be driven to serve in a greater capacity than just being a member. All right, so you you have a family. Don't neglect it. That's all I have to say. Come, come, push in. I have a question. Uh, I have a question for the sister. Um, what is your ideal about how you would want your family to be and the structure of it? I mean, do you have that anywhere in your mind? Because in today's society, they're pushing all kinds of other ideas. And, you know, I, I'm just curious to know, you know, what you formed in your mind as to how you want your family to be. Well, what I can tell you, well, right now, um, I'm not worried about like a family of like creating of like my own or anything like that i mean i'm just worried about just <sighs> myself and what i'm gonna be heading towards for life and being my own woman and stepping into my own womanhood so i'm not really worried about like a family for a safer like myself but like the family that i do have and like being with like my parents and like my sister you know basically you know economically saving money and just you know I don't know. I'm just right now. I'm just in like my, my. I can't really give you a question about like family, as far as like, like creating a family, because you know that's not in my headspace right now. So, but like right now, um, I'm just 
don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I'm so nervous. You're answering the question. You, you actually are answering it. You don't know. Yeah, so, yeah, so, I'm still working on that. Like, if I get there towards life and, like, all I know if I get myself together and then hopefully I don't find a guy that's a, a beta male or a simp that doesn't want to, you know, meet the standards of what I want, then, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, um, since, so let me ask you a question, um, a little more relevant. Did your father believe in the most high where you raised up, like, even in the Bible? Because what, one of the things that kind of deter me is that you use that term guidance, and that can't be found in the Bible in any kind of positive, uh, in any kind of positive manner. People use phrases like that. They're more um, than likely to be linked to something like Norse um, science or Egyptology. Well, well, I come from like I get like I get like most of my teachings and like history stuff from like my dad, and you know that's just me being home. But that's just me like being home with two parents. So I got like most of my teaching from my dad. And then when I, I, I and and to answer your question, no, I was not brought up from the Bible. Um, I mean, I didn't grow up in the church religiously or anything else like that. Um, it was basically more like history. It started off with hidden colors. Then it started off with books. Then it started off with reading the book of a Winnie Lynch letter. Then it, it just started off with just so many black history books and that type of stuff that I started consuming and acknowledging and then feeling that I am my own person, you know? Feeling that, you know, I don't know the truth out there you know, there's so many truths and there's so much information and so much, you know, there's there's so much knowledge. There's so one much truth. Knowledge. One huh? truth. Repeat that again? There's only one truth. There's only one what? truth. What is that? The truth. That yeah, yeah that's true. true. That's true. But, you know, some people got, some people, you, you can hear the, like, you can hear what the person telling you and you don't know, like, unless it's like a fact, you know, you, your own truth comes from, like, within. So it's just like we have so much knowledge that's out there, you know, they all sound believable and they all say this is true and it comes from this and it comes from that. That we're in this. It's not the truth. The is a definite article, meaning that it's isolating it to only one truth. If your truth conflicts with the truth, it is not the truth. It is your truth, which is actually a misconception and a misnomer of the truth. But there's only one truth. So what a lot of people do to Lord Peter uh, is, is that they'll mix the truth with their lies, lies and say this is the truth. <laughs> and this is why we're supposed to try everything and examine everything. And if it comes out, is there a folly there? That's not the truth. And oh. second thing, a fact nowadays, a fact does not have to be true to be a fact. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. So, you know, it sounds like, you know, I kind of asked you a question and you kind of gave me a, like, um, a wayward answer. Um, so you, you did say you didn't come up in the Bible, but it kind of sounds like almost like you're free spirited, right? Because you didn't answer whether or not you're Egyptologist or Moorish science. Because those are the um, t two major um, religious entities that deal with that term goddesses. I was just trying to get some clarity to establish where you are. But you know, we, we appreciate your participation. We appreciate you um, coming in and um, finally speaking up. Um, the, the good brother um, chosen individual, you kept fooling out, brother. Um, it looks like you kind of got like interrupted in your speech. So um, if you would like to come back in, brother, and finish out what you were saying, um, you could come in. But the reason I was telling you to come in, good brother, is because you see how when you came in, you cleared up what you was actually trying to state in the text messages. When you text things, people don't always get the clear understanding as if you're expressing them viva vo say. Con, con, con. It's a lot of 